Yeah, good morning. I'll take a medium with two sugar and a medium regular, please. Well, there you go, DDT. Yeah. Duff. Lit- literally giving. Oh, that's that doesn't even. We're we're faking it right now. You actually <laughs> bought the coffee. You gave me a coffee in person. Here we are. Yes, we are. The sound quality is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, we're back in person. Yeah. Thanks to thanks to anybody. Thanks to hashtag Basement Doug, Basement Doug. and his buddies. Yeah. Yeah, lifting some of the restrictions on us poor Ontarians. Yeah, you can go golfing again. You can go golfing. You can play those deadly sports like pickleball and tennis. Although Our... I'm hearing people complaining about the golfers going golfing together. Oh, you're kidding. No. They're like, going to be super spreaders. Like like his buddies say, you know, you drive there together. You have a few pop after together. Yeah. yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but I did buy the coffee today. Thank you very much. It's yeah. fantastic. I was just saying how maybe you should have got me a large. Well, you asked for a medium. I asked for a medium because yeah. planning to good. go visit the wife's side of the family later. Yeah. And well, isn't it because you had spicy Indian last night and then... Uh, oh, you had to bring that up. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to talk about that. And then went for a bike ride this oh, morning. Oh, boy. And... Well, no, I bought I bought <laughs> wanted a, I wanted a smaller dosage of coffee. Yeah. So my first dose today yeah, of the yeah. coffee, yeah. smaller one, because the second dose I'm booked for around 12.30. Oh. On the way out to Castleman or wherever that. Oh, you got to pick up a coffee on the way there. On the way, I love a coffee on the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no, you're right. I uh, had some amazing Indian takeout last night from Carrara. 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 Yeah. God, it's good. Yeah, it is. And it's a treat because we don't order it a lot because no one else really likes it, right? So. It's too spicy. Uh, well, they just they're they're not very adventurous those. Yeah, Irish the, Canadians the other, the other that duffies. populate the other 75% of my household. <laughs> yeah, like Little Caesars, Little Caesars. Oh, okay, they all want Little Caesars. I'm like, well, you guys get your damn Little Caesars. I'm getting Indian yeah. then. Yeah. And oh, I so shared. they got. Yeah. So, so they got their Little Caesars pizza. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the Carrera. And I Indian. bought fifty dollars of Indian food <laughs> for myself. Yeah. <laughs> and no wonder you're feeling it this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to lunch though. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of leftovers. But yeah, Maddie had some of the. Well, come on. The garlic naan bread, oh. everyone loves. Yeah. It doesn't. You don't have to be yeah. an Indian food connoisseur. No. So a couple orders of that and the, uh, oh, what the hell are they called? The uh, the little appetizers all rolled up. Oh, samosas? Samosas. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. I love the meat ones, but no, because yeah. of the, the growing vegetarian in the house. <laughs> I ordered the, the vegetarian and they weren't bad. And then I... I, I meated it up for my two entrees. Nice. I got the uh, the beef curry. Yeah. And something new, a chicken birani. Oh, yeah. yeah Does that yeah, sound familiar? Yeah. It's kind of a spicy chicken yeah. rice dish. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And the rice with the, the beef was actually... Any uh, any uh, BJ's favorite? Tofu? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on the menu and that was my first thought. I was like, oh, people do actually eat this or order yeah, it sponge yeah people actually pay someone else to make tofu meals yeah people like to eat sponge <laughs> god <laughs> anyhow <laughs> as, as as for the the day after yeah a little yeah. i i ate a little more than maybe i should have oh and and yeah i had a nice uh ashton brewer brewery blueberry ale oh sweet oh my god i ate yeah. more i ate I consumed more calories yesterday than probably <laughs> the previous two days. Yeah. And then, yeah, up this morning and tried to sweat it ride. all out on yeah. a bumpy bike ride. Oh, God. Yeah. So yeah. at the terminus of my in and out trail, it was adventurous to say the least. <laughs> did you bring some toilet paper <laughs> along with you? I did not, but I made it home, as they say, Just in time. cheeks squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the good oh, listeners, you I know what? We have They're, more energy in, yeah, when we're together. It's been a good week. And yeah, yeah energy together for yeah. sure. But uh, maybe that's the apology right there. Sorry you guys had to listen to that. Eh? Oh, God, yeah. But uh, the, <laughs> the, the kind of pre-talked about, pre-planned apology was just the fact that it is mm. Sunday and we're doing this. That's and right, we did yeah. not do this yesterday. No, we didn't. Why is that? 
Uh, because we actually uh, did meet with, uh, we had a coffee together with BJ. We did. And uh, it was uh, it was nice. It was really nice. It was a nice, nice morning. Yeah. Had the backyard grass cut. I shouldn't even say the grass cut. Had the dandelions it's all cut. chopped yeah. off. Yeah. Flush to the... You know, so few the, few blades of grass. Kentucky that, blue grass that yeah. you have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine. That's the neighbors. There's always that one neighbor with a nice lawn, and then everyone uh, else were just struggling to get by. That, that neighbor is probably retired. <laughs> yeah. And they're out there every day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pulling so, the weeds. So there we are. Yeah, the dandelions were chopped, and the, the three five-year-old Muskoka chairs with minor cracks or and that, mold and, and bird chairs. pool. Oh, yeah. We, we debated s- that before. We're, yeah, we did. Yeah. I think we're going with Muskoka. Eh? Right. I can't remember. Anyways, it was good to see JB and you in person. And uh, yeah, one coffee turned to another and one conversation to another. And before you knew it, it was like... Uh, Two hours later. Yeah, we're not we're not recording CCC today. We'll put it off. Yeah. Yeah. What a great morning yesterday was, though, eh? Uh, it was nice. I mean, uh, we've had some nice heat wave in the last few days, which yeah. I can't complain about. And Beautiful. Then, Yesterday morning was um, was uh, you know what just perfect perfect day yeah, yeah. perfect yeah. temperature turned out to yeah. be a nice day and, uh, it was a perfect day morning. it was a perfect day until seven o'clock rolled around and uh, I lost my sports bets yeah what did you <laughs> take it <laughs> what I was going to ask you about that now so now you've taken up sports betting sports betting I'm back to the old Duffy from the uh, late nineties early two thousands ah, okay. Not a promising trend. No. Uh, well, as you know, I, I'm a I'm an amateur poker player. Yeah, yeah. And I'm you're having a lot of fun with that. You're apparently up on that. Right? I'm up. I'm yeah. doing okay on that. Finally, let's. It's, yeah. it's because it's not a. Uh, so you'll be pretty soon playing for a million bucks at poker stars. I doubt it. Tournament. But if I could ever sit down in in Vegas and play a real game, it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, it's uh, once you realize that poker is not a game based on chance and luck and that there is some even online that there is a is a degree of of knowledge and skill yeah. and you accept that and you accept the fact that hey maybe i'm not as good as i think i am yeah that's when you turn the corner yeah in the last month or so i can honestly tell the good listener that i i turned the corner i i swallowed my pride yeah and I swallowed, like, the fact that you can't just say, oh, I suck because I'm not getting the cards. No. Because I've done some reading, I've learned some strategies, and even online, they friggin' work, statistically. Yeah. Okay. If you're patient enough, <laughs> there are times when you can, well, everybody knows what bluffing is, right? Yeah. There are times when you can win hands by bluffing, and there are times that you can win hands with great hands. And, and what I laugh at now is I see all these errors that I used to make that now I take advantage of. The, the classic one I can think of right now. Sorry, this is turning into a gambling discussion, folks. But uh, <laughs> Disclaim ever, it. Yeah, if you've ever played poker and, you know... It's, we should it's, disclaim it. Yeah, right. this is... Don't oh, yeah. This, <laughs> this is not uh, uh, an advice show in any way. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. You take this up at your own peril. That's right. So if you're familiar at all with five-card stud and you get your two pocket cards and they flip three and then uh, a turn and a river, all that stuff. Yeah. Like a great set of cards are like two aces, let's say, or two kings yeah. or whatever. Now, you, if you can be patient in any online game or any game in person for that matter and get a general feel for people's styles, what I'm seeing now is there's these rookie idiots that will, you know, they go all in right away yeah like and and not and again nothing is ever a certain 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 but 90 90 percent of the time if some idiots going in all in early on especially if the stakes are a little more than yeah nothing they've got a a great hand yeah they've got two on the yeah on their uh hand cards they've got like probably two kings or two exactly so yeah yeah i used to do that now, what do I do generally when I have, because again, it's not all the time, because yeah. sometimes things change and you can kind of then flip that against someone too. You can go all in with, with shit if you want, Yeah, yeah. especially if you're almost out. Yeah. But uh, if I get a couple of kings or a couple of aces now, I'm just checking through. And you ideally wait for the, the other suckers to kind of up the ante. Yeah, wanna you the want, going. you always want... This is what I think, and I don't know if I read this or what, but but a, a neat strategy is you almost always want your opponents to think they have the best hand. 
That's what you want if yeah. you want to make money. So these guys that go in that almost want their opponents to think that they have the best hand, fine, take take that little pot. You just yeah. you bail out. Yeah. So so I will I'll kind of play them along and then you friggin' just throw it at them on the turn in the river and that's how you make some money. Anyways, that's the biggest problem. Okay, so yeah, having played yeah. poke on poker stars, can we stay? Can we save? Oh jeez. Poker stars? There that'd be a hell of a sponsor, right? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we just said it. Yeah. I'll decide to whether I'll bleep it out. Pokerstars.net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make it my job hard. Anyway, we played online poker. Yeah. And uh, as you know, because we've played... Just to be clear, you're playing for free. Well, here's the thing. You're, you're not throwing money in. I have thrown money in, but I haven't oh. played that money yet. Okay, it's sitting there. It's sitting there. you got to play, man. But as you know, we've played our the free games together mm -hmm. on there. Lots of fun. The problem with playing the free games yeah. is that you have Yahoo's... Uh, I don't give a crap because it's yeah, I know. Just, you know, free money. It right? is tough to practice real strategy yeah. in those games. So yeah. you've got... You know, doofuses that yeah. go on there and just go all in all the time. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know, you're right. And they'll ruin the flow. But sometimes you'll find a good game. Yeah, if you can find, if you can yeah. get into a good table yeah. where they're not doing that, mm -hmm. then that's good. But what happens is inevitably that doofus, that idiot, will find that table and yeah. come in. It's just by yeah. chance, of course, that because they just log yeah. in and then. And you know. still get that in the low stakes games that I play. Yeah. But the fun part is, is you can quick now that I've played for a bit, I can re usually recognize that. And that's when you just say, well, screw you, you tool. Like yeah. you, if, if he's going all in and I have, let's say a, a, a Jack 10, as long as I have more bankroll than him, I'll match him. And, and you'll often knock those idiots yeah. out. Yeah. So the funny thing was that with my 11 year old son. <laughs> yeah. We signed him up for an account because oh. he wanted to play against. Oh, lovely. That's probably perfectly yeah. legal in uh, no. Morocco. Well, you didn't hear that if you were pork with stars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what? The little bugger, mm. he was like... Knows how we, to play. Yeah, we were getting yeah. into games together because he would, I would log in and then I'd say, fun. okay, yeah, yeah. look for me. So, you know, we'd be sitting next to each other, basically. Yeah. So he'd look for me and then he'd go on to that game when a seat became available. Yeah. And then we just sit there for a while. Yeah. And he was winning. That's cool. Like. All the time. And it was just like. And then your other son play as well? And then my yeah. oldest son. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. Well, he's legal age. He's 20. He'll be okay. 23. So. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was. Uh, he Like we got him on yeah, the action. Yeah. And the three of you were playing. And we were playing, all playing. That's a blast. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but it was just free games anyway. Yeah. But, you know, I think uh, Noah at that point, he was on. Uh, was he at his mom's house at that point when we were playing? Yeah, I think okay. so. So we were on online yeah. and we were talking to him and playing. That's fun. At the same time. So that was a lot of fun. But uh, but yeah, my younger son, yeah, like he sort of grasped it uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. Like he didn't know all the nuances of, yeah. of all everything, of, of, of course. It's but... a great game to teach kids like the 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 math side. Yeah. The, the, the statistical probability and just the, the rules kind of of the game. Yeah. And all the social nuances, yeah. like I'm not even close to learning ten yeah. percent of that. But that's that's yeah. after the fact. Yeah, yeah. So and then all that to say that he is up uh, on his free play mm. chips. Uh, but we haven't played in a while. As you said yeah. I, I put the money in myself. Yeah. Uh, I just it's it's just you have to have the time to sit there. I know. For a while yeah. to play. Well, this was my point to yeah. you earlier, or did I already say it on on air? Is that if you are not a patient person, don't play poker unless you want to learn how to be a patient yeah. person because that is what – that's probably the one key word I would say is uh, – and I still find myself struggling with that because if I only have 10 minutes and I want to just play a little poker, there are certain games that are, are more suitable for that. Yeah. But 90% of them that Poker Stars offers, you've got to be prepared to – sit down for half an hour let's say which still isn't a ton of time no but if you sit down thinking you're gonna win some money and and get out in 15 minutes you're gonna lose because yeah. you will make decisions almost intrinsically that you don't want to make or you shouldn't make based yeah. on poker knowledge that you will yeah right yeah i feel i feel kind of bad sitting there for an hour playing yeah. poker when i'm thinking like 
Ooh, I could have been working on <laughs> the pool or done something else. When you else. could have been watching a hockey game or something. Uh, well, not even that. I mean, <laughs> I, I if it was a if it's a Sens game, yeah. But if it's like another game on the background, then yeah. that's fine. I'll play that. That's true. But uh, but yeah, I just it just seems like to sit there for an hour or two is kind of a time waster. It is, and I don't enjoy. It. Well, you gotta. But, but there's some people that really get into that, right? There's some people that well, that's there what are, they like to do. They'll spend that buddy, time. Buddy, like there are like there are countless and I would go beyond the amateur status for these folks. There are probably hundreds of thousands of prof- like low level professional online poker players that will yeah. make money. I, I guarantee yeah. it. Oh probably. Yeah. Like even even if it's only like a hundred bucks a day or something, like yeah. they're playing poker and making money. Yeah. Because they're patient and they can sit all day and they know their odds and Yeah. And they're not someone like me sitting in on my comfy chair with my phone. They're sitting in a in gaming game. chair yeah, with, with multiple, multiple screens yeah, exactly. and they, they can always reference data and that's a job though. Like that's not fun. Yeah, but it, it is exactly. a way to make money and I know damn well there's you know, there's probably some fourteen year old in 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 Vietnam with a dad like you that's setting him up playing <laughs> poker and he's like kicking butt all over the world. Well that's I'm setting yeah. my son up for the future. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But uh, anyways, I'm disrupting how to uh, yeah. the, the industry of making money. Well, speaking of disrupting, this whole leg of our conversation was just about the sports betting. So my whole point oh, was yeah. poker stars, the platform I'm already on, having fun, right out of the blue, like last week, there was this little symbol, little soccer ball or a basketball. Yeah. You click on it, it's a whole friggin' sports book. Wow. Just like Las Vegas. Like yeah. you click on it and it's every single game you could imagine you can bet on. Yeah. So all your leagues, all your sports, world hockey, NHL, baseball, soccer in Europe, yeah. rugby in New Zealand, boat racing in Tibet. Tibet that can't really racing? happen. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Landlocked Tibet. Yeah, maybe uh, yeah. Everest clim- yeah. climbing. Who's going to fall off the cliff? But just like, just fascinating. And then like, I like my baseball. So you would click on a game and then you think, oh, you can just bet on the game. Hell no. There's probably 50 bets within that game you can make. Oh, yeah. Who scores first? Crazy. Who scores in the second inning? Who wins the eighth inning? Yeah. Uh, over under, over under each yeah. inning. Like you it's, could probably bet who got a who gets a hangnail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who gets the third hangnail in the fourth <laughs> inning after the sixth? Exactly. Pitch? Yeah, and it's, is out for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lots of fun, but really long story, super short, because it's, it's, I'm not even feeling happy about the sports betting, <laughs> is you work hard all day. That's because... Winning poker games like yeah. I did yesterday. So you yeah. build up a little bit of a, a surplus in your account, and then it's gone in an evening. That's because bets. you're betting on... Yeah, my heart. The Leafs, Montreal yeah. Canadiens playoff... Yeah. Toronto Maple Leafs, Montreal yeah. Canadiens playoff game. Yeah. And being not a Leafs fan... That's true. You're betting on things there with probably some type of uh, stigma in place. Therefore, yeah. you're not going to win the bets ever. Pure hatred. Is yeah, what that's what it. it is. Yeah. Pure hatred for yeah. the Leafs. So you yeah. won't win the bets because yeah. you're... Betting with the heart. Betting with the heart. And so, then betting for the Jays. So Yeah. So I, the Leafs won. You, I know you bet the other night for the game to be tied. Going, correct. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the Habs won. Yeah. You lost. And then last night... <laughs> I bet for a tie. You bet for a tie again. The Leafs won. And the Leafs won. Yeah. So yeah. surely they're going to tie the next game. <laughs> But I won't even Spoken bet. Spoken like a true. That's what's going to happen. I'm not betting <laughs> sports any more better. sports for a few days yeah. and watch it be a tie. Yeah. Uh, but it, my point to you earlier was yeah. it's not even fun than watching the game because I I usually do like to have a vested interest in the game, like cheer for a team. Yeah. Who the hell cheers for a tie? Like nobody cheers for like a tie. It's not. It, but you like to see overtime hockey. I do like in, to see overtime. In, in the playoffs yeah. for sure. And smart money is on some of these ties because there are lots of overtime games in the first, especially in the first round. Yeah, but I think yeah. <clears throat> true. But I think that um, in that series in particular, the Habs are going to have a tough time beating the Leafs. Yeah, I think no one's predicting uh, the Habs to win. Yeah, so yeah. I, I kind of think that there might not be very many OT games. Yeah, if the Habs win, it's going to be a two-one game. That's if the Leafs for sure, win. It'll be sure. like last night yeah. where it's five-one. Well, a two-one game could be an overtime game. It could be, but yeah. I think uh, I I think it'd be more like a regulation. Yeah, like yeah. they did the other night. Well, I'm excited for the rest of the series. I mean, I'm not going to bet any more on it. Yeah. 
I don't think. That's good. Yeah. Try another Try another series. I'm not going to bet on it. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> then, Carrie, well, most likely you are. <laughs> yeah. Like Carrie, and then you, oh my God, we could talk world hockey, eh? There's oh, the you, game. You were asking about that, Norway and oh, Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to bet for there. So the fun thing with the world oh, hockey God. is the, for NHL, like the people these, so you talk about poker stars and how ridiculous that organization is, right? It's funny. They're based out of Malta or somewhere. So, poker stars? Yeah. Yeah, but, well, they but, have to be based out of where there's yeah, legal. That's legal right. Labor, yeah. And uh, but the, I'd love to see the employee role because they must have a lot of folks working for them, like statisticians and stuff, right? Oh, and God. just confirming, okay. even if yeah. they don't do their own stuff in house, they confirm stuff, right? Yeah. So there's so much data on NHL, like major league sports. Yeah. So their odds are really refined, I find. But the world hockey is is gong show. Like, there's no data on Latvia versus Canada in a year like this, especially. Yeah. So the odds for that game, and good listener, if you're not aware, Canada lost two, two nothing, nothing to yeah. Latvia, the powerhouse uh, hockey nation, <laughs> Baltic hockey nation. <laughs> uh, funny, I don't even know if they have an NHLer on the squad. Do they? I, do I'm do you know? A, I'm not. A, no, I don't. Okay. Well, anyways, so the odds were ridiculous. Like. If Canada w- was to have won that game, you might have made eight cents on a dollar. Yeah. Whereas Latvia was paying like fourteen dollars or something on a dollar. A lot of people want a lot so of money. So if guess. you had any sort of funness in you to throw a dollar on Latvia, you'd have been laughing, yeah. right? So now that whole tournament has just got me interested because they're that's not the only upset. So I was asking DDT last night yeah. with his Italian heritage if you yeah. know anything about. The uh, the Azuri team. on ice, let's call it. <laughs> yeah. And if they could take Norway, because Norway's no power either. But Norway's a favorite over Italy, and I'm just thinking there's there's the bad. Maybe I, Italy can string enough together to beat... Because it's not like Italy's paying, playing Sweden or Finland or the Czech Republic. They're p- playing Norway. Yeah, but uh, I said I wouldn't take that bet. No. Yeah. I would still put my money on, on Norway, Norway. <laughs> even though you're not going to win a lot. Yeah. I mean, I thought you were originally. I thought you were talking you about I was the talking Euro- soccer. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were talking about the European Cup mm. qualifying. Yeah. Uh, because Italy did not make the last World Cup. Yeah. If they don't make the European yeah, yeah, Cup, yeah. which I think they've already have, but they should. Yeah. Uh, that that uh, that 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 country would probably go up in flames. It would because, go up in flames. Yeah. You know. So that's what I thought you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. Because who thinks? Well, hockey when you say Norway and yeah, I don't think, but I don't think Nobody. I would need to call you for assurances on a wickedly paying bet for Norway to lose to Italy and soccer. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. would be a, a, a no brainer. That's true. But <laughs> the, the reason why I was thinking of that yeah. was because Italy did not make the last World Cup. Mm. So maybe the odds were a bit. And that's what I was yeah. messed up. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, but anyway, yeah. That's so all good. You didn't take that bet. I didn't take that bet, and yeah. you know why? That's I think that's enough gambling talk, eh? It's, yeah, it's we, lots of fun. But uh, yeah. the other big thing we were talking about this week was yes. uh, electric car yeah. technology. Yeah. And how we almost came to blows <laughs> over the fact that a Mustang punches. Is, is Let's a, clarify yeah. that. Punches. Punches. Yeah. Punches sounds better for sure. <laughs> Punches over whether a Mustang is only a Mustang, if it sounds like a Mustang and burns gas like well, a Mustang, or whether you could have an electronic no, version of a Mustang. No, because you and BJ brought up the fact, the, what is it called? The, the all new electric Mustang. Uh, yeah, what's it called? I don't know. Mach E or whatever it is. It's oh, yeah, electric. Yeah, yeah. It's got a subtitle, Mach E. Yeah, yeah, which is, you're like, it's, it's a Mustang. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it's not even close to a Mustang. First of all, it's an SUV. So I did look at the So I looked, then yesterday. So I'm kind of, I'm, you're already winning me over on that. Yeah. I looked at the picture and I'm like, that looks more like a, like a Honda HRV. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we were talking about it yesterday yeah. at our three-way coffee. Yeah, yeah. That I, re- I found out that you guys didn't even see a picture no, of these I things. No, I just heard about it. <laughs> so you're arguing with me. Yeah. Not even know, seeing Blindly what it looked arguing. like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, it doesn't even look like a Mustang. Yeah. It's an SUV. How they get away with calling it a Mustang? I don't know. Uh, like, it's just, to me, that's blaspheming. Yeah. I, okay, so so I, I, you won me over on that one. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my dad, back in the early 70s, he yeah. had a 69 Mustang Fastback. That oh. was our family car for a wow. couple of years. What a cool family car. Yeah. Right? 
And I, one of my earliest memories is riding in the back seat. They oh. had a little ledge for your armrest yeah. that you could actually sit on. You guys were the talk of Blackburn Hamlet. Yeah. And so we were, uh, so I remember <laughs> riding in that car. You, your sister, and your brother in the back seat. Yeah, I'm not even sure if my sister was born then, actually. Oh. It might have been <clears throat> even just been before she was born. Mm. So she was born in, I think, 73. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think it was before. Perhaps she was conceived in that car. That, that, Is that possible? I guess that could be yeah. possible. I don't know. Quite the fancy it's, car. Yeah, so it's a beautiful car. He eventually sold that car to my cousin. Your cousin Vinny? Not my cousin Vinny, no. Oh. And uh, my cousin drove the car, then parked it at his uh, uh, his their family cottage Yeah. in the bush. And it sat there for a while, kind of rotting out. Oh, he didn't and use it right away? Like, he used it, okay. but then parked it there. Parked it. And then the floor probably rotted out because it was sitting huh. in the... And then I remember the day I was at that cottage the day that they a tow truck came and pulled the damn thing away. Holy freak. He had sold it. I think he sold it for like 400 bucks. And I was kind of like... Wow. Even at that young age, I was kind of like... Yeah. Crying because yeah, they yeah. got rid of that car. Interesting. So then... That that set me on a love of Mustangs. I I bought a '79 Mustang Cobra when they came back out, with the gonna Fox say body you, style. Thought you were gonna say you went and bought a horse. Uh, no, I didn't buy no. that. No. Okay. Although Mustang horses, I mean, yeah, that's what yeah, I mean. Thought exactly. you loved Mustangs and you yeah. wanted to go buy a real one and no. kind of go that route in life. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So you got your so own. I got, you got my, your own automobile Mustang. Yeah, I did. A five liter Mustang. Five point oh. Five point oh. It was a with four a speed. top. No rag top. So no rag top, top down so your hair could blow. No. So they got that. And then a few years after that, I had an 86 Cobra GT, 5 oh. liter, 5 speed. Rear wheel drive. They were up all, yeah. Yeah. Like uh, the first one I had, the 79, was uh, it was terrible in the winter. Oh, I was just yeah, going to say, my no only, if I could contribute my boring yeah. nest to, to Mustangs. Yeah, the only Mustang story I would have is my wife's mother had this teal mustang uh mid 90s maybe yeah rear wheel drive took that thing to lake placid once and i <laughs> never thought we'd make it back <laughs> in the winter it, no. why were they so brutal on winter roads well there was just no weight in the back yeah no weight in the back yeah. and this thing would fishtail anything above like 40 miles an hour yeah it was not a comfortable i was nervous driving that yeah that thing. was the first and last winter yeah that I okay drove back that yeah. car in the winter yeah. and i and when i got the 86 i never drove that in the okay. winter because yeah there was just no weight in the back it was all in the engine right so i guess back. you could have put weight in the back if you really wanted yeah to i ended up that winter. that winter i think taking like a couple of old weights we yeah. had lying around and yeah. threw them in the back but it didn't really help that no much. okay but yeah like the 86 i mean it's just there was a lot of torque in those cars and so that one fun like, cars, even, yeah. oh, lot lots of fun yeah. you know and 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 so when you brought up Mach-E and the electric Mustang, it's yeah. like, well, first of all, it doesn't even look like the no, today's that's the Mustang. Big thing. It doesn't look like a Mustang. No, it doesn't even look like a Mustang. Second of all, the joy of for me of driving a yeah. Mustang is listening to that exhaust note, feeling the vibrations of feeling the car. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The exhaust note, feeling all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, going through the gears. Yeah. You know, first, second, third, fourth. Hundred percent. Like actually the, driving a car. Exactly. Yeah. And my brother actually has, a, a, I think it's a 2020 GT, Mustang oh. GT, drove that. Okay. What a fun car that uh, is. For sure. I mean, you know, he, yeah. I don't know how it was in the winter for him. I yeah. didn't really ask him about yeah. that. Now, JB's only point was, it was a good one, but it's only one box checked in the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. The acceleration of these electric cars are yeah, ridiculous. For sure. Uh, but there's no sound. There's no muffler. No. There's no gear changing. No. There's no nothing. But yeah. if you want your head falling back on the seat like you're taking off in a jet, yeah. yeah, you get that. Yeah. And he says it's pretty cool. I get. Well, he was describing his experience riding a. Ta 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 yeah. Can you say? Ta yeah, I don't know. We should beep that out. Beep. Ta beep. Ta out okay. For sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's 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 cool. I mean, I I think a lot of us might end up buying an electric vehicle soon maybe not you they become more practical yeah maybe. you're more of a traditionalist well that's yeah. the thing so real quick on the the truck front is was my oh, big yeah, party yeah, yesterday's yeah. The, the chat f-150 the f-150s look like f-150s yeah they look cool yeah they uh they do the job of a truck yeah 
and I think I'd maybe like one someday. Oh, but no. but like you say, give it. Never buy anything. Never buy the first iteration of no. anything because exactly. it, that's where the faults are all found. Yeah, yeah. And when they tell you the range is 450 kilometers, yeah, that sounds nice off the yeah. top of your head. But they're not giving any data on that range when no. you're towing anything. Right. Or, e right. or even if yeah. you have a load of wood in the box. Right. How much so, is that going to... Yeah. Yeah. So I can you imagine me hooking up the, the camper trailer, oh. thinking I can make it all the way to Driftwood or Algonquin Park, and then... <laughs> Get stuck uh, halfway. In. Can somebody come mm -hmm. give bring me a battery charge? <laughs> like, you're not <laughs> exactly. even asking for gas. You yeah. Know? I, I need a charge. I'm yeah. somewhere between Barry's Bay and Eganville. Yeah, I'm Are they going to have to go back? <laughs> you remember back in, in like the, you know, going in the 50s and 60s and 70s and yeah. even the 80s, you used to have gas stations every yeah. so while because, you know, back then that's the cars right. only got like 10 miles per gallon, right? Hey, I never thought of that. Yeah, so Maybe that was, that's a new thing. You could have little charge up stations every 100 kilometers. Yeah, that was the yeah. thing back in the day. They needed to have all that's those right. gas stations. But when cars started to become more efficient, you could go 500 yeah, kilometers yeah, yeah, on yeah. a fill. And they well, you didn't need off. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's why when you go along those highways that's a you fascinating some... vision yeah, yeah. Like, so well, they first... need charging stations yeah, but all my the way first thought is why not yeah let that that's something good for the economy the problem is though like like people say oh yeah it's it's great like i'll drive you know i'll take that four hour drive from ottawa to toronto and i'll stop and have some lunch it doesn't and, and for an hour yeah it's like well wait a second here no. if you have small kids you know the last thing you want to do small kids if you have a wife Oh, even that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not going to stop for an yeah. hour. No. You're not going to make the... Like, we we drive from Ottawa to Sudbury, it's which a is romanticized a... romanticized vision. It is yeah. a romantic... It's a five and a half hour trip to Sudbury yeah. as it is. That's right. By car, you don't have to stop for gas. Yeah. If you had to stop for an hour or two Ugh. to recharge your battery in your car... Figuratively and literally. Yeah. Yeah. You're like seven hours? Yeah. To go to Sudbury? Just... There's no way. Like, Even you lose six a, hours yeah. to go to Toronto? Did you lose like, a bet or something? Yeah. No <laughs> like, kidding. Like, why? No, so I, not, no, but that's the thing, yeah. right? Everything, it's cool because this is the onset of, of this sort of technology. And we're a few years in now. And, uh, I mean, in town, I, like, realistically, I, we should, me and my, our family, we should have this beauty we're in right now. Yeah. Gas guzzling Mustang like engine, yeah, roaring to life, yeah. pulling anything, yeah, 20 bucks out the window every two minutes when I'm driving it, you know. Yeah, but the second vehicle should be something I'm plugging in yeah, worth 30,000, let's say, like a Nissan Leaf or something like that. You can drive around that we city. put around town, yeah, in. for sure, yeah, and never have to spend another dime think, on gas. I think that's it. I think, yeah, I think. Electric vehicles are good for second yeah. vehicles. Second vehicles. But yeah. if you want, if you're somebody that likes to travel a lot yeah. and go out of town a lot, and pull stuff things, like that, and yeah. pull things, yeah. then maybe it's not such a great idea. But yeah. getting, but maybe in ten years, you, you buy that F one fifty and it's got a thousand kilometer range. But again, we're not even touching the the big, the big white elephant in the room here. The friggin' blood batteries, man. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, yeah. Like we, people the call themselves the environmentalists, yeah. but they don't know the whole story. And, and yeah. we study a lot of this uh, at work, and it's like, where are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all. Talk for a whole other day. Yeah, you you own a. T is it too? I said. T is that okay. Beep that out. But then I'm thinking, is it too strong to say you have blood on your hands because you own like an electric vehicle? Yeah, because uh, right now the way the batteries, yeah. uh, the lithium batteries, I don't uh, think people know how that yeah, those things get from yeah, uh, the ground so. to your car. No. If you looked into that, you might not be so yeah. Yeah. big on the electric vehicle yeah. If, yeah. because you know they're mining them using no, children and stuff yeah. in in Africa. And yeah, it's not the best. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. No. So, but yeah, that's yeah, you're right. That's a whole dis separate discussion. Yeah, yeah. But but as far as like the Mach E, yeah, you're right. Like. Like need, it, you know, need it's evolution. Look, it's, yeah. You're looking at the the zero to sixty uh, or hundred kilometer time in yeah. like the three and a half seconds, but that's something that you can achieve in the five hundred horsepower Mustang that you get off the lot anyway. Oh, guaranteed. So, yeah. you know, yeah, they've got good acceleration in electric vehicles, but if you got a five hundred horsepower yeah. Mustang, you got oh, a good baby. acceleration. Oh man. And where are you going to use that anyway? Really, when you think about it, uh, unless you go to the track, then it's yeah, yeah. You're not using. 
3.5 seconds to 100 no. or or top speed of but, yeah, 300 kilometers like, an hour. But I don't the, know. Neat, the neat thing about the rules of the road is there's no uh, there's no acceleration limit. No, right? that's true. There's a speed limit, but yeah, you can. But the there's top nothing end stopping of, you from just hammering that thing at a stop. Sure, but okay? the top end of that vehicle, I, yeah. from what I read, was only like it wasn't fifty. Not even, I don't think. Really? Yeah. It wasn't anywhere near where you could get the top end of a, a an ice Mustang. <laughs> this thing. Yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah, we're not going to say what this thing has been up to, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it goes, these, well, these trucks have the same engine as some of those Mustangs. They're unreal. Yeah. Anyways, uh, one other thing. I have no idea where we are on time here. I do 35 not, minutes. Okay, wow. Well, wow. I definitely want to talk about my last big contribution to today's show yeah. uh, is the definition of a champagne socialist. Because I know oh, we've probably yeah. talked about that before at some point. Yeah. Hey. Okay? Yes. Those super lefty, I'm better than you, I know better than you, and this is how it's going to go. But really, it's because of where I am in life and none of you are going to get to this point. And I don't want you to get to this point and I'm doing <laughs> all this for you. It's like just ridiculous. Yeah. You got to look up the definition of a champagne socialist if you're listening. Yeah. The mayor of Muskoka. Yeah. I never felt like reaching through the TV and choking someone like I did when I saw this guy. Yeah. And I have no connection to Muskoka. Like, if, I'm, I'm not just, a... Yeah. Just background on Muskoka. Yeah. It, it's a beautiful area in central Ontario. Right. Yeah. Caught with a ton of lakes. If you've ever been there, it's cottage on country. any of the cottage country. If you've ever been there on any of those lakes, it's beautiful. I've been yeah. there a few times. It's a nice place. It's just a beautiful area. Yeah. And a very rich. Yeah. Very rich. Like, very a well. lot of... Million dollar sure. cottages, yeah, but uh, and a lot of it is built on, uh, you know, seasonal residents as yeah. they call it, or people that have properties up there, but they don't live there all the time. So in the age of COVID, you know, there's there's people in places saying, "Don't travel, don't do this, don't do that." And this guy, yeah, even where we are now, like we're we're definitely on the way out of this. I mean, things are getting better. This guy is on there, on his million-dollar dock, and he's going on about, and again, it's probably people from southern Ontario wanting to go up there to their properties to live their life, right? Yeah. That's what they want. Well, they're paying the taxes. And they're stuff. paying tremendous taxes to support mm -hmm. his lifestyle and his town, Yeah. and he's telling them, don't come, number one. Yeah. Really? Don't come. Don't come to your property that you own that you pay all your taxes for, don't come. But if you do come, bring all your own stuff and yeah. stay on your dock was his fancy right. cash line. Stay on your own dock. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, is this guy for real? Yeah. Like, I have no affinity. But what was the reaction of the businesses? Well, I'm getting to right? that. I'm okay. just, the first yeah. part of it is just this guy's champagne socialist that attitude. dollar cottage. Yeah. yeah. There is no risk at this point to the hospitals in Muskoka no. if a vaccinated family for God's sakes drives up from Hamilton to their cottage that they're paying $8,000 a year in taxes on yeah. to support his town there's 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 no risk right yeah. Uh, yeah so then the second part of the story and I'm really glad they covered it was all the business owners in Muskoka saying he doesn't speak for us. Yeah. Like we're not champagne socialists. Yeah. We are, we're not retired millionaires. Yeah. Like living the life. We're we're full-time residents of this town and we make our money off the tourists and, yeah. and we need them to buy our ice cream, our 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 fries at the chip stand, yeah. our fancy crafts at the store yeah. and they want them there. Yeah. And they're fine. Like they're still enormous I've, amounts of safety protocol in place yeah. for the rare the Anic rare almost non-existent outdoor transmission that could possibly happen yeah anecdotally yeah. i've heard the same about uh, like uh bc like there's a lot of obviously tourism in yeah, uh, bc yeah beautiful province same uh, deal you know eh? that that there's the, the, the biz small businesses that rely on people coming up there yeah in the summer months uh you know, yeah. they can't survive because there's nobody coming it's there anymore. It's not fair. So. We've got to stop thinking, those of us that are lucky enough to have jobs and making money through all this craziness, that we can push our, our thoughts and beliefs on, on these folks that are running businesses that are 
crying for business to survive. Yeah. And especially the ones that are safe and outdoors and yeah. or even yeah. indoors if you're letting in a few people at a time. Like, yeah. it's just, it's baffling. And this guy, let's hope that's the end of it. I, Hearing people I, like, yeah, I, I know you don't think it. so. Yeah. But he's like, uh, if, like, how is he, how is he going to get reelected, let's say? If you're a business owner in Muskoka, yeah, are you voting that? for that no, guy? I vote for him. No. You would have to be a year-round resident who Same as is him. independently wealthy, just yeah. like him, to support that sort yeah, of an exactly. attitude. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be great to hear someone so speaking take of, from Muskoka. Speaking of another town that would kind of rely on that yeah. sort of thing, Yeah. your favorite part of the oh, Ottawa region back to is... to Lanark County. Lanark. Did you contact... Uh, you were supposed to contact their tourism so we could talk <sighs> about that. Did you do that? Damn it. Things I... we should have done but didn't? That's a perfect example of things we should have done but didn't. We have that segment today. Things you should have done. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't catch, it was either the last episode or the one before. We, When we got very... Uh, disenfranchised disheartened on the whole Faroe Islands connection yes. we thought let's look a little closer to home yeah. and get someone on from Lanark County to, to pump the pump up the qualities of Lanark That's County because right. of because of all my tongue in cheek uh, jokes about Lanark County That's right. which all I your, love which I love but love your, to make fun of too right? all your disparaging remarks yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's still on the list I'll yeah. try yeah it's it's hard well, let's, mean, let's try it for this week sometimes sure. yeah sometimes I let's think we we pour all our energy into the the podcast live on air and then it's kind of off our yeah. radar for a few days and yeah. then I'm thinking and so that's when I have to get on it is midweek late in the week when I'm thinking about the next show and, and get on it's it. It's like, oh yeah, got to call Lanark. Well, well, but no, you know what we were thinking? We were saying how it doesn't work well remotely, three people. Yeah. But now that we're back legally Together, allowed yeah. to run our essential media we, we, broadcast in person, we can do it. We could fire up a phone yeah. call to the Lanark County well, That's Tourism. a good point. Is podcasting an essential? It's media. Yeah, yeah. it's essential. I, we we, should have been we able never, to get together. Well, that's the thing. thing. We never felt confident enough to push it during the like full-on lockdown. If the actual cops came to the Cop Car Coffee podcast. Media. We're media. media. We're media. We're media. Yeah, media. We're, we're setting yeah, up. We're essential. <laughs> I got my letter Yeah. from myself to there myself. You go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're at 40 minutes. Okay. Should we call it a... Just a real quick one on, yeah. on that note. We went for a big walk the other last weekend, I guess. Yeah. And we see all these kids and families hanging out at the park. Yeah. And <laughs> this was technically very illegal in Ottawa. But yeah. they had this big sign right at the entrance to the park that said, Essential Health... No, sorry. I'm not kidding. Essential Mental Health Gathering. <laughs> and then they had the official City of Ottawa logo oh my on it. And like Ontario logo. <laughs> Maybe we should do a special episode of how crazy oh, all these it's a crazy world but i i uh, thought like good on these like part of me was just you got balls i i don't think i would do that as much as i support your right to do that yeah. you're outside these kids are having a blast parents are hanging out whatever yeah it's outside again is the key yeah, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm not judging them but i got a kick out of their sign that they, oh, they thought, put the sign up. Yeah, yeah they yeah, put yeah. this sign up yeah. thinking if a bylaw officer comes by, that's the defense. Would the bylaw officer look at that and say, oh, looks official. I'm out of here. Oh, I highly doubt the bylaw yeah. officer would do yeah. that because they're like, you know, <laughs> like some of them could be pretty uh, well, no Gestapo-ish. Yeah, there, but there's no such thing as going online and getting a permit to do that. <laughs> no, for, I know. So, but it's it was, brilliant, though. It was brilliant. It, it was yeah. brilliant. I love I, it. I wanted to... Yeah, I forgot to, to mention yeah. that. I thought that was classic. Yeah, that's good. Anyhow, yeah. That's a good mention before yeah. the end. Yeah. yeah. So I'm we not... apologize for the length of the podcast. Oh, God. Week. But we've been... But this is... We're back together. Up. Yeah, yeah a lot of pent-up yeah. energy. Back together. Episode 19? 19. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll get this uh, We'll get this on for you guys uh, real soon. Yeah, so apologize for the day late. A day and, late? And a dollar short. And a dollar short. Folks, thanks for listening to Cop car coffee.